This is Dr. James H. Lubowitz from Taos, New Mexico. Today we're presenting Understanding Knee Arthroscopy for the Sports Medicine Patient. Knee Meniscus Tear on MRI. What's the best treatment? In the knee, the three most common conditions I treat are ACL tear, meniscus injury, and cartilage injury. The meniscus is a cushion pad that prevents arthritis. First, we have to understand knee MRI. This shows an MRI side or sagittal view. In the upper left, the yellow circle shows a normal black triangle shaped meniscus between the thigh bone and the leg bone. On the right, the blue circle shows white fluid leaking into a meniscus tear. This is a front or coronal view. The yellow circle on the right shows a normal black triangle shaped meniscus. The blue arrow on the left shows white fluid leaking into a meniscus tear. The cross-section or axial view is not the best view for seeing a meniscus tear. The yellow circle shows bright white fluid with the black kneecap above and the thigh bone below. Meniscus tear can increase the normal amount of knee fluid due to swelling. For patients with pain or limitation of function from their torn meniscus, no surgery is minor, but arthroscopic treatment is minimally invasive through keyhole-sized incisions. This shows a knee. On the left, the medial meniscus is torn. A camera is brought through a keyhole-sized incision and a soft blue plastic cannula through the other keyhole. A probe demonstrates the tear. Small biters can cut the tear into morsels to remove this torn portion. Biters come in different shapes. Next, a shaver with suction can remove the torn meniscus morsels and smooth the rim. Healthy tissue is left behind to pad the knee. Most patients return to normal walking in one week and full activity in four weeks or less. Repeated squatting over the years or a sudden twist can tear the meniscus. This can make your knee hurt or swell when you bend it. Arthroscopic surgery is performed through incisions the size of keyholes. Using a camera smaller than a pen and little biters or shavers, we remove the torn portion of the meniscus while sparing as much healthy tissue as possible. This is James H. Lubowitz, MD. Thank you very much.